Hello everyone, it's Erin. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be painting this floral arrangement and I've included a monarch butterfly. This is something I've never done before, so let me know if you'd like to see more butterflies in the future. I started by blocking out the wings for my butterfly. I'm painting a monarch butterfly which have these beautiful bright orange yellow wings. I like to think of the wings as an upside down heart, keeping the outer part of the wing a little bit scalloped. Just repeat that on the other side to create your base. Next I'm going in and adding some loose flowers. I'm starting with these poppies which have five to six petals on them and I'm starting with three and then I'll see where I go from there. Next, I'm adding in some loose roses on either side of my butterfly. Now I'm adding in some circles, which are going to be berries later. I'm starting with these three groupings and then I'm just gonna see where things go. I'm just adding in more filler flowers and leaves, a little bit at a time just because I'm not exactly sure where the end shape will be at this point. Now I'm going in and adding these dark leaves to my berry groupings. And I got down to this third grouping and then realized I had too much empty space and I didn't want those dark green leaves in that space so I took a side step and added in more filler flowers. They're the same size as the berries but they just help break up that space. And then to tie those in I just added them throughout the rest of the composition. So when I add a new element, I'm trying to keep similar colors together. You'll see that I added gray leaves next to those roses, the dark green leaves in with the berries, and then these blue leaves next to the large filler flowers. And I'll kind of repeat that pattern as I continue to add more. This just helps the piece feel a little bit more cohesive and not so busy.
Next, I'm adding in detail lines to my poppies. I waited to add details to the flowers until that base layer was completely dry. If the layer wasn't dry, the paint would just bleed or blend together with that bottom layer and you wouldn't get the detailed look. You can see I tried to add detail lines to that leaf, but the leaf wasn't quite dry enough yet, so I'm gonna wait a few minutes. Next, I'm adding in the centers of my poppies using gouache paint. Gouache is really similar to watercolor. It's a similar consistency, but instead of being transparent like watercolor, it's opaque. I went in and added some detail lines to some of the leaves, just so those poppies wouldn't feel all alone. Now I'm going to go in and add final details to my butterfly. I started using this Tombow brush pen and realized that it was dying, so I luckily had another one. <laughs> I will have all the products I'm using linked down in the description box below if you'd like to check them out. So I'm just going in and filling in the areas of the wings that are completely black and then adding in detail lines. I just looked at a picture I found on Google of a monarch butterfly to see where the lines should go, but I'm not too worried about them being exact or symmetrical. You can see that my left and right side are not completely symmetrical at all but you get the feeling that it's still a monarch butterfly and that's what I was going for.
there you have it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and help me spread the word about these tutorials. Share a link to this video or the Snowberry Design Co. channel over on Facebook or Twitter. If you'd like to see more of these videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. I post a new watercolor video every Wednesday. Thanks again for watching. Bye!